So here we are on joshesfrogs.com, really like the domain name, and it stands to reason, you know, I found out about this site from this woman named Harley G on YouTube, so check her channel out, but it stands to reason that maybe you can get some unusual houseplants from here because they're not necessarily geared towards houseplant lovers, not that they don't have plants, but they're definitely more geared towards plants that do well in terrariums, vivariums, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the plants for people section right here. And the very first thing I'm going to look at is these plant bundles. So let's take a look at the different types of bundles. You're going to get more value for this. But I mean, this is pretty crazy. You can get a bundle of, look, foliage plant bundle for $34.99. So that means that each of these plants, it's a 10 pack, each of these plants is going to be $349. That's an extremely cheap price. Uh, even if you get some common plants here, you know, I don't know what's going to be in that. Uh, I'm going to look at this vining bundle. looks like you get five plants for $17.99. So very similar economics there. Let's go ahead and open up the vining bundle and see what we might get. I'm going to take a look at the picture here. And you don't have a guarantee of what you're going to get in these bundles, but it would be cool to get any of these plants. And you know what? Any vining plant is a win for me, especially if it's one that I don't already own. So it says for the vine bundle, they choose different vining plants. We'll aim to include many different varieties. Most, if not all of these are offered individually. Okay, cool. We're going to get one of these. Let's add that baby to our cart. Let's go backwards, back to the bundles. I do wanna pick up another bundle. It looks like there's a five pack foliage plant. There's a fern five pack. Uh, I'm gonna stay away from the ferns right now. I have a few ferns already. There's a terrarium plant bundle. I might not get this, but I am curious what it is. So we'll open that tab up. Let's look at the foliage plant 10 pack because I'm almost guaranteed I'm gonna be getting that guy. So here we are on the foliage plant, very similar to the other one. It says they'll choose 10 different plants, 10 different species, which is great. You don't get duplicates and they are labeled. So if you're a budding identifier of houseplants like me, you won't be confused by some of these. So here's just a sample of what we might get. Let's take a look. I can see a dumb cane right there. I can see a begonia of sorts, a bunch of other good stuff in here. So I am 100% ordering this. Boom. Let's add that to our cart, but we are not done shopping yet, my friends. We're going to move back out to the plants for people section here and move away from the bundles and just take a look at some of the interesting plants. Let's see, rare or uncommon plants. Let's see if we can get something kind of interesting. And it looks like these go in and out of stock relatively frequently. I think they have like 800 plants in stock at any point in time and they fluctuate all the time. And I think they're also in the middle of a website update. So it'll be a little bit easier to tell what is and is not available. Looks like they have a lot of different begonias here, some peperomias, vanilla planifolia. So there's a lot of different things. You know, it might be a really good place to come if you're looking for one particular species that you just can't seem to find at a different nursery. Because I mean, look at this. There's tons of different begonias here, tons of different uh, well, there's the Scandapsis pictus, which everyone loves. The Satin Pothos, I already have one of those. There's some Philodendrons, Raphidophora, Dendrochillum, Dendrochillum, however you say that one. And man, there is a lot of stuff here. I almost am a little overwhelmed by all the rare plants. I'm going to back up and we're going to go back out to plants by type. Let's see what we've got. I want to pick up a couple different plants outside of those bundles that I picked up. So I would like to get a wandering Jew plant and I can see that's what this is right here on this image here. So I'll let that one load. So I'm here now in the vining plants section. I really have sort of a little obsession right now with these vining plants. I already have, like I said, this satin pothos. I don't have the string of bananas plant. So I'm gonna pick up one of those. We'll open that tab for now. I am going to pick up the, oh, look at this, trailing watermelon begonia. That looks pretty interesting. Let's open that tab up. We've got the spider plant. I have plenty of those. Golden pothos. I already have one of those. Uh, I actually am building a bit of a pothos jungle in one area of my home, which is pretty exciting, guys. So here we're at our string of bananas. Let's take a look at this, this guy. Really interesting looking plant. Pretty easy to propagate as it's a succulent. Most succulents are really easy to propagate, but I don't have one yet. So it's really related to the string of pearls. I kind of want to get this and a string of pearls and kind of put them in the same area so I have a nice little contrast. Hardy to zone six to 10. It's going in the cart, my friends. It is going in the cart. And now I'm looking at the Polonia repens, which is the trailing watermelon begonia. Let's take a look at the foliage here. Very, very interesting. And I can see why they name it that because it certainly looks like those stripes of a watermelon. Like if you're looking at sort of a side view of it, 
kind of like you would maybe a basketball or something. Uh, you know what? I'm buying it, guys. I don't even care. I'm buying this bad boy. And look, I mean, these are all, look, 449. Yeah, it might be a smaller plant, but the variety is so fantastic here that it's just absolutely incredible. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna start searching. String of pearls, I want that one. I really want the string of pearls. Doesn't look like it's here. I'm sure it'll be here at some other point in time. We'll save that for another video. And I just wanna pick up one more plant. I want to get, let's see if I can, let's see what's going on in the moss section. I mean, guys, there's just, <laughs> there's so many plants here, it's crazy. Ooh, spike moss, hmm. Let's see what's going on in the Gisneriads section. I mean, guys, there, there's just an insane amount of selection here. More than I've seen on many other houseplant specific sites and certainly much, much cheaper. I think a lot of these sites are trying to, they're trying to get you to spend money on like the potting and the growth of the plant and maybe even the trendiness of the plant. Whereas it seems like, it seems like on Josh's Frogs, it's, it's not that way. It's just, hey, this is, this is the price. It's five bucks to 10 bucks. And then if it's rarer, of course, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. So, okay. So colorful foliage. Let's get something. You know what? I don't have an aglionema right now. So I might want to pick one of those up. I'm just going to look for anything that's got some quantity here. Gold dust croton. I, I really like that plant. I might pick that one up. Let's open that tab. I've got a Calthea lancifolia. I've got the peacock plant. Uh, creeping fig. I don't think I have that. Let me look at let me look at the creeping fig. Oh, and you know what? I want to see if they have the sale, the snake, the snake plant with the sale. Let's see, snake plant. Let's see if they've got it. Probably not, because it's probably not one you would put in like a vivarium or a terrarium. But we can we can always check. Let's see what the gold dust is doing. Let's see what it looks like. We'll see what the ficus looks like. Let those load up. Okay, that looks cool, and I don't have it. So again, we're buying. Bing bong, it's going in the cart. And then the gold dust croton, I don't have it. It's pretty common, but I just don't have it. So it's going in the cart. And, ooh, you may also like. Good job, Josh's Frogs. Okay, so it looks like snake plants, not super heavy on this site. That's okay. I'm going to go look on the categories and see if they have some succulents. Um, let's go ahead and just back up to the home. We'll go plants for people. And we'll go by category and see just what their succulent selection is like. It doesn't look like they feature them, and that makes sense because it's not a plant that you would put in a terrarium. You know, it's just really not one that you would you would put in there. So it makes sense that it wouldn't be there. Uh, I'm looking at just some of these random ones here. These are from a different supplier. It looks like these are pretty pretty interesting looking plants. They're a little more rare. Uh, we're gonna stay away from these for now. I think we've got enough, guys. Let's just recap what's actually in our cart. Looks like we've got. Let's wait. Let's go to checkout. So here is what we got. We got the vine bundle right there. We got the foliage plant bundle. So that's 15 plants already. Then we got a string of bananas. We got a trailing watermelon begonia. We have a creeping fig. And then we have the gold dust croton plant. Uh, so it looks like we've got 19 plants, which is quite a few. I may have just doubled my houseplant collection in one fell swoop. Now, the interesting thing is it is cheap. However, you do have to pay for shipping, which it makes sense. It's not Amazon, guys. It, it does make sense. These are live plants that I need to package and, and do carefully. I'm just going to do the priority mail today. No big deal. And we'll move on. So they were nice enough when I had reached out to them to give a code. So I think the code Epic Gardening will give you guys 15% off. So let's see how that works. Boom. Yeah, it looks like that gave me, yeah, about 15% off. And then for me, they actually gave me a little bit of a coupon. So I have a $50 coupon that I can apply here as well. And that's going to bring it down to a pretty reasonable price, if you ask me. So yeah, if you guys want to order, again, this is not really a sponsored video or anything like that. It's just they offered this to me because I was going to do a video on it. So Epic Gardening will give you 15% off. Um, let's go ahead and check out now. I'm going to do that on my own so you guys don't hack my identity real quick. All right, guys, we're checked out. Looks like it's going to come in one to three business days, which means if I've ordered it on a Tuesday, it looks like, oops, it looks like we are good to go. So boom, I'm really excited for this, guys. Stay tuned. We're going to have the unboxing in just a second. Well, guys, the day is here. The box from Josh's Frogs is here. I've been super excited. It's been probably four or five days. So I'm wondering what I'm going to see inside this box. But I feel like we can't really do this unboxing unless we get in the proper theme, the proper mood, the proper attire even. So here we go. What's up, baby? Eggplant time. <laughs> All right. 
Let's unbox this bad boy and see what we find inside. Remember, there's 19 different plants, 15 of which I don't even know what they are because I got a bundle. So let's go ahead. Oh. Okay, time to go close up on these guys. So we can see in our packing list, we've got the foliage bundle, the vine bundle, and then four specific plants. We've got some care instructions, and we've got a little thank you note. Very cool. Now let's get to these plants, guys, because this is what matters in life. This is what actually matters in life. Okay, first plant. Peperomia cupid. Let's take a look. Look at this. Look at this guy. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Kind of a classic, basic looking Peperomia. But hey, am I complaining? No, I'm not complaining because I think this came in the foliage bundle, which I'm stoked about. Peperomia Cupid. Okay, next one. Aglionema Wishes. So I got a um, Aglionema finally, which I've been wanting to get. They're pretty hardy and also grow quite a bit. Look at that. Look at, oh wow, look at the red coloration on the leaf versus the more mature leaf, which is, well, no, that's actually green, red, and white splotched. So that's an incredible looking, I mean, this is for sure in the foliage bundle because that is an absolutely incredible looking leaf. Ooh, stoked about that one. Next one. We've got an unnamed one. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this foliage. That's incredible. The yellow, or sorry, the sort of tan off-white lining around those leaves is, is something to behold right there for sure. Our next one is we've got a Syngonium Potiphyllum White Butterfly. So let's see what this baby looks like. You can see some of the leaves popping out of the top already. Boom. Wow. Look at those. Look at the... Look at the structure of the leaf. That is a really unique look. So this is for sure also in the foliage bundle. And honestly, the qual these plants have been in the dark, sort of packed together for four or five days. These plants look really good, having been in those conditions. Next one. Looks like we got another Syngonium. This one is the mini pixie or super dwarf butterfly plant. Wow, sounds like a Pokemon. So mini dwarf butterfly. So you can see why it would be named that because it has the same leaves, at least the same leaf texture structure as the other Syngonium, but they are much, much, much smaller. Uh, and they look really cool. So I'm hoping this one becomes a nice vigorous grower for me. Wow, those look amazing. Those look incredible. Okay, we've got a Pelionia, new emerald green. Let's see what this one looks like. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Look at the uh, look at the frilling around the edges here. Almost with almost coming to little spikes. Uh, dark green sort of texture, dark green color, ruffled leaves. Very cool looking foliage plant. That's Pelionia. Uh, let's go to the next one. Okay, we've got a dumb cane. This is a Diffenbachia Tropic Marianne. So I've been do wanting to do a dumb cane video or a Diffenbachia video and I haven't had quite as many varieties as I'd like to have to actually do the video. And so we added one to the mix. So this looks like a more classic looking dumb cane, just pretty standard green leaves. Uh, looks like there's a little ripping on a couple of these, folding on a couple of these, but dumb cane is a pretty hardy plant. So I think even if these leaves kind of fall off, die off, that's no big deal. We can just uh, nurse it back to health just fine. So that's the Dumb Cane Tropic Marianne. Next on our list is, uh, oh, no way, we got a peace lily. We have the petite version of a peace lily. I actually have been really wanting a smaller peace lily because the peace lily variety, or the peace lilies can get very, very big or very, very small. Look how small, there we go. Look how small this is going to end up being. I think the spaths will be like, that big maybe, uh, they're, they're gonna be pretty small. So I'm excited, excited, excited to get my first flower on this one. This is the Petite Peace Lily, guys. Petite Peace Lily. Uh, unnamed, another mystery. That's fine, that's how I live. I think the vining plants are 
unnamed so far. Ooh. Oh, no, I know what this is. This is my string of bananas. Ooh, hoo, hoo. We got some perlite mishaps. Look at that. Look at that. I've been wanting this bad boy so bad. Look at those freaking bananas, guys. Would you might would you say this is bananas? I think it's bananas. Look at the oh my gosh, these things look amazing. And these are very easy to grow as a succulent. So, we are about to get bananas up in here. String of bananas. Next we have ooh, we got a banana tree, baby. Oh, we got a banana tree. Very on theme with our last one, the string of bananas. Oh my god, let's open this. Oh my god. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking, look at this. Look at this freaking plant, guys. This is incredible. A baby banana tree. That little prince. We're rocking that little prince. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. okay. This is our gold dust croton. I can already tell just by looking right at the tips of those leaves. Oh yeah. This one looks like some kid drew it with MS Paint. Like this does not look like a plant that exists in nature, or it looks like someone like threw bleach on it. Like the 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 patterning is in, intense. It's quite intense, and it it really does look. Cause see how it like falls off at the edges of the of the yellow. That just that to me just doesn't look like it could occur in nature. It looks absolutely incredible. Stoked about that. Oh my gosh, there's still so many left. We've got, oh yeah, we got that Fitonia, baby. I picked one of these up, I think, uh, yesterday at the nursery, but who cares? You can always use more, right? I don't, I don't care. You think I care about having two of the same plant? I do not care at all about that. I love that. I love that. Ooh, look at those freaking leaves. That's what I'm talking about. That is exact, look at that. You can see why they call it the nerve plant, because it kind of looks like a nervous system running through the um, foliage. Wow, incredible, incredible, Petonia. The white nerve plant. Actually, you know what? Here's the adult. Here's the, the larger one that I have. And I actually don't even know if it's the exact same one because it doesn't look quite as white in the, uh, in the leaves. Okay, next one. Uh, Creeping Charlie, Pylea. Let's get this baby out of here. I will save you, Pylea, I will save you. There we go. Nice vining plant. We do some browning on the tips here, but no, no big deal. Uh, I'm very, very confident we can nurse this guy back to health. And it's gonna be a nice vining plant. Look at these leaves. They're very, very large, unique shape to them. Actually, really, really unique shape to them. And uh, it's gonna be a nice vining plant. Pylea. Okay, our next one. We got another one, Pylea depressa baby tears. Wow, talk about taking a turn for the worst, guys. That has a sad name. It's literally Pylea depressa. This thing is sad. This is a sad boy. But we will, we will nurture you to health, my friend. We will do it. Okay, look at this. Wow, much smaller leaves, much smaller leaves. Uh, very, very compact. And I'm assuming it's gonna be a vining plant that kinda just falls down like this. So I am stoked to grow it, the Pylea depressa. I'm gonna have to have a vining corner of my room. Would love any, any and all tips you guys have to improve the vining aesthetics of the room. All right, we have another one. Pylea glauca, red stem tears. Why do all these Pyleas, why are they so emo, guys? Why are these Pyleas so emo? If I was a if I was a vining plant, I'd probably be stoked because, you know, that seems like a very chill way to live as a plant, if you ask me. Uh, okay, so again, this was Pylea glauca, red tears. Uh, I don't know why, just looking at it, it would be called red tears, but uh, here, let's let's do a little eighth grade compare and contrast. This was our baby tears. This is our red tears. It does have quite a uh, more forest, light forest green look to it than this has more of that neon sort of bright green, but I don't see any red. Um, if I look close up on the leaves, it is a bit like shiny, like almost a metallic sort of look to it, but I don't know. Maybe there's something I don't know about this plant yet, so we're gonna set it aside. And we are coming down to the wire. We have one, two, three, four plants left. Four plants left. Save the best for last. We have a Peperomia glabella. Peperomia glabella. Interesting looking leaf. Kind of a longer or oval shaped leaf or an oblong shaped leaf. Gonna be a very cool one, I think. Very cool one. 
We have another Pilea. This is Pilea Microphylla Artillery. Okay, so the Pileas are now taking on a more aggressive tone with me. They were emo, now they are about to shoot some freaking mortars at me. Pilea Macrophylla, Microphylla, excuse me, Artillery. So let's see if we can discern why it was named this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They're very small, so let's do another compare. So this was our baby tears. This one definitely more droopy and crying, although it looks a bit more mature. This one, the leaves are much smaller. Maybe it's like a, supposed to represent like the blasting of a mortar. I, I have no idea why it would be called artillery, but still digging it, still digging it. This is our watermelon Polonia repens. So I'm, I'm very excited about this one because this one was really high up on my list of plants to acquire. Uh, there you go. So you can see why it's called that. They very much looks like uh, the side patterns on a watermelon and Looks like we got some moisture in here. So this one's gonna be a fantastic plant really excited to grow this one Polonia repens or watermelon uh, Begonia trailing watermelon begonia I'll leave that one in there for now and our final the final plant. Ooh, okay Streptocarpus saxorum streptocarparella Sounds like uh, like an evil aunt's name. Streptocarparella, don't hurt me. Okay, it's getting ridiculous now, I'm getting delirious. Interesting, okay, so this, this definitely has a fuzzy leaf texture. Really interesting fuzzy leaf texture. Looks kinda like clumped up, I'm not sure. I'm gonna need to Google this one because I've never actually seen this. So this got thrown in, I believe, in the vining bundle. So we are going to see how this one grows. Well, there we have it, guys. A huge, huge houseplant haul. I put a couple of my favorites up front while I'm rocking the epic eggplant. So we've got the Eglonema, the String of Bananas, the Creeping Fig, the Croton, the Fitonia, and the Baby Banana Plant. But I would love to know, what are your favorites? Let me know in the comments down below if there's one that you're like, how did he even get that? Or, I really love that one. Just let me know in the comments down below. But overall, I was really surprised with Josh's frogs. First of all, let's go through some of the economics. I got 10 foliage plant bundle, I got a five vining plant bundle, and then I got four individual plants. So 19 total plants. I did use my 15% Epic Gardening discount code, which you could use too, and that came to 7094. Shipping was 17, so 87. And so that means that the plants are somewhere around the $4 range. Uh, for all of these plants, $4 each. And some of these varieties, yeah, they might be small, but just grow them. I mean, that's the whole point of indoor gardening is you're growing the plants. So get something a little smaller, invest in it for the long term, and you can get a whole lot of value for 80 bucks. I mean, you go buy a fiddle leaf fig, eh, maybe they're not as popular as they used to be, but you go buy any sort of maybe a Monstera or something like that, you're looking at $80 right there, uh, especially if you buy a pot. So really surprised with that, really surprised with the variety of stuff that they gave me. And Man, I can't even take myself seriously in this in this costume. I can see myself recording. I can't take myself seriously. But uh, yeah, I'm super, super pleased about it. Shipping took, I would say, four to five days. The way that it timed for me, because it came via USPS, is that it was almost ready to be delivered on Saturday. USPS doesn't deliver on Sunday, so it got shifted to Monday. So I was a little worried. I was like, I don't know, are these gonna be coming to me? You know, five days in complete darkness, being jostled around, is there gonna be some damage? But I think you can see from some of the close-up shots that almost all of these plants are in really good condition. I think maybe the dumb cane had a couple bent or burnt or uh, just damaged leaves, but fortunately that's a pretty hardy plant. So we're gonna be just fine bringing that one back to life. All these other ones look completely fine to me. Um, and so I'm just really excited to grow. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, if you have any comments on if you'd like to a specific care guide for one of these or how you'd like to see these grown in the home, if you have any questions, boom, hit the comments. Just hit me in those comments. I'm always answering those comments. And until next time, from the Epic Eggplant over here, AKA Kevin from Epic Gardening, Kevin, by the way, a lot of people think it's Eric because they think Epic means Eric, but it's Kevin. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Good luck in the garden, keep growing, and stay epic. Peace out.